Oh, 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 oh yeah, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Golly, look at those panels right there, man. Whoo, honey, hush. All right, guys and gals, welcome back to the Houston Kilby YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be working on this mud truck. We got some uh, sheet metal pans we're gonna be working on underneath where the oil pan area is to keep the motor all sealed up. And also today, we'll actually be going on out to a car show as well to support the veterans. Uh, so you guys will have to stay tuned towards the end of the episode and see some of that. So uh, let's get after it here. So we gotta cover up the bottom side of this motor here. Uh, we're gonna line everything out. You guys are gonna get to see how I kind of marked all these lines up here. You guys are gonna get to see how I'm gonna bead roll all this. And oh my gosh, man, this thing was really time consuming just putting these lines in this bad boy right here. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start lining this deal out and I uh, had a mess up here. Sometimes you've gotta really get everything drawn out, then go back and look at everything to make sure it is the way that you want it to be. And uh, that's what I've done here. We just kinda had to redraw some lines here and then uh, we'll get after it here on putting some bead rolls on this bad boy. Captain Hook Joe. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that pretty good? Alright. I'm gonna have to work on them dad jokes a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm we'll gonna get this deal lined out and uh, we're gonna hammer down here and start beat rolling here very soon. Alright, you got it. Alrighty guys and gals, it's time to hold on to your beard hair there and uh, hammer down here. So uh, yeah man, uh, I've got my headlamp on so this old fella can see what the heck is going on here on these bead bead roll marks here and um, it, it's just repetition 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 and uh, consistency of making these lines straight and parallel and all that good stuff um, I find too man you got to really keep an eye on these straight lines um, a, a straight line bead roll panel uh, if you're not careful um, it will really show off all and if any mistakes you've made on the panel if the panel's not square if the panel's not straight meaning where your cut lines are uh, where the bends are etc etc so definitely when you're deciding you're going to go with straight line bead rolls uh, keep that in mind um, if you've got a more complex piece uh, then i definitely suggest going with like triangles or different designs like that versus those straight lines. If you got square pieces and rectangle pieces, the straight line stuff looks pretty decent and or putting angles on it like how this bottom piece is here. And uh, so now I'm just cleaning these bad boys up, getting them straightened up, getting them cleaned up and all that stuff. Uh, Cause when you got it in the bead roller, uh, when you're done with it, it's best just to take a piece of scotch brought to it. And that's what I'm doing here on the DA and check it out. All right guys, check it out. We're getting these pieces put together here and uh, it's now time to get them inside the truck that are on the truck so let's move up there and start getting these dudes bolted up and see what this is going to look like i'm excited about it it's looking good heck yeah guys it's time to get these panels installed and get them mocked up here and see if this thing's going to look like and i'm telling you it's what I'm no Picasso or anything like that when it comes to artists, but um, I, I'm liking what I'm looking at here. So uh, we're going to definitely keep hammering down here and, and get these panels on here. And I, I'm telling you what, the time wise that it takes on putting these panels together, marking the lines up, getting it mocked up, making the templates, making the stuff fit, and then sometimes throw that panel away because it don't even look right or it don't fit right or it gets bent up or whatever. Oh my gosh, the time that's involved in it is absolutely insane. And uh, sometimes that's hard to, <laughs> hard to 
hard to explain or um, um, hard to, to, to describe to people unless you've been through it or, or if you've done it yourself. But um, this thing's coming out nice here. I'm really happy with the way that this is looking. I'm, I'm definitely tickled to death with what we're seeing here. So, um, yeah, man, um, I think it's coming to a good time here. Uh, it would take us a little bit of a break here and head on down uh, to this car show. It's downtown Johnson City. Um, they are supporting the wounded veterans, and I definitely want to help out with that the best we can. Uh, so we're going to ride down there in the old 66 Tempest and uh, see what all we can see. And I hope y'all uh, kind of enjoy this little break here in the episode. So sit back and enjoy some uh, car shows, some bike stuff, and uh, I even think they're doing like a uh, pin-up contest uh, for the ladies down there as well. So uh, let's get on down there to the car show, and uh, let's check this deal out, guys. sit back and enjoy we'll uh, walk around through here look at some stuff and uh, have a good time yeah man all righty guys it's car show time and uh, we're gonna get around through here and look at some of these hot rods um unfortunately man the rain and the weather kept doing all kinds of crazy stuff while we was here and uh so i just went ahead and done some filming while i could before the storms hit and stuff but uh yeah man uh, there's definitely some cool hot rods that came in through here uh, i know I know the the biker club and uh, definitely you know the wounded veterans definitely appreciate everybody showing up and stuff. Um, you know it's definitely anytime you can help the community out with something, it's definitely a good idea to definitely do so. And uh, they had a good little turnout throughout the day. <laughs> and um, I actually came down late because uh, where I had to work in the shop there. But I just want to get a little bit of filming in, show you guys what all was going on, and show you some of these cool rides and some of the motorcycles that was down there. And uh, they had a they had a great turnout. I mean, uh, I, th I think they really did, especially for how bad the weather was and and all that stuff. And uh, <laughs> they even had some music playing going on. And we'll show y'all some of that. Um, I don't know if YouTube's gonna give me a strike on that or take a video down because of it, but we'll see here. But uh, they definitely had a good time going on, and a lot of cool people and uh, a lot of good stuff going on there. All right, guys, so they had a little bit of music playing uh, while they were handing out awards. Uh, Jesse got to hand out his Hoopty Kings awards and uh, even had old Mad Bowtie Garage out there as well. Uh, you guys got to see them in a couple of episodes ago down at Jonesboro Armory. Uh, they were doing some filming there as well. And, uh, of course, it's not downtown Johnson City unless you got a huge train that goes by while you're trying to do stuff. But, uh, man, it's all good. Um, we definitely had a good time. It was a good break from the shop and uh, definitely had some good music going as well. All 
Alrighty, guys and gals, that's it. It's a wrap. We're gonna yeah. head on out of here, man. Good time. Man. Golly, man, it <laughs> rained on us on the way in in here. Yeah. And it, it was like sprinkling a few times while I was here. Yeah, but I the, got here, it, it was like freaking, it rained just a little bit, and then all of a sudden it quit, and it got humid, now it's hot, and now yeah. it's humid again, a little bit of breeze going, it's just, Typical summer. That's it. <laughs> Here in Tennessee, guys, it's either a hit or miss. Golly, I'm <laughs> like that's how it is. It's awful. It? Oh but my gosh. It is what it is. It's better than that old cold weather. I that's right. It. Hey, we got out of the shop, was able to come out and support a good cause. Yeah, man. And stretched old bones out for a minute, got some sunshine. That's right, man. <laughs> definitely appreciate it. We had a lot of people come up to us and all that stuff. Yeah, man. And uh, we definitely appreciate everybody coming out and all that good stuff. But, anyways, me and old Jason's going to get out here. We got to get back to the shop. You're going to be working on the Kahuna sign. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to go clean that mess out. After me and Houston's been thrashing on that thing, the inside of that darn thing is, it looks like a mix between a camping trip and a junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> You got Gardner Enterprises down there in the salvage yard. It's out of control. <laughs> they calm that mess down. That's right. We got to get them cleaned up, and then uh, we'll, uh, we definitely got a test drive coming up here real soon. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe next weekend. Hopefully, next weekend we can start tinkering on the stripper and uh, get that bad boy back and rolling yeah, in get motion. Get and get it's her, killing me. I get can't her dialed wait. back in. Heck yeah, man. All right, guys, we're out of here. Appreciate you, and y'all have a good one. Yeah, man.